gift today and I'm really happy that I got it well it's what I said I got my gift today it's coming today um they're going to deliver the gift at the house so we have to stay here now Adela Ray my cousin he left and it's just me and my brother Harvey we're just waiting yeah our dad told us to wait for a gift, and we're waiting for the gift. So, it should be any time now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we're waiting for the gift. It should be here any time. I'm hoping. Okay, Calvin. Um, let me look. I think it's here now. So... You can go outside and pick up the gift, and we'll see what it is. Oh boy, I think it's gonna be nice. Oh wow, the gift came, the gift came. Do you wanna see it? Oh yeah, it's a surprise. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. The gift came, the gift came. Oh boy, it's nice. You should see it. You should see what the gift is. It's going to be really nice, too. I couldn't wait, so I opened it up. I couldn't wait. Oh, this is great, everybody. We're going to the New York Yankees baseball game, and we're going to watch a baseball game. This is a really great gift. I, I can't see anything. You think I can see the baseball game? This way, because I waited, I received a gift. Yeah. Oh, where is everybody? Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, boy. I'm going to have fun. A lot of fun. Oh, where is everybody? Hey, who turned off the lights? Well, okay, you guys. It's um, time for us to go. So... Um, we're going to have to leave a note on the door for Adela Ray because um, I'm not sure where he is. I think he's at the church with uh, Pastor Mike. So that's a good thing. And uh, I guess we'll just have to wait to see. Now it's like this before. You see that? Okay, now I'm like this. So um, look, guys, we'll just have to go to the baseball game. But remember... When the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, because they waited, they received the gift that God had for them. And I'm not God or anything like that, but I want to thank both of you boys for hanging out, and we're going to now go to the baseball park. And we'll just leave a note on the door for Delray, and I'm sure he'll be okay. You think so? Oh, wow! I'm glad to be at the baseball game. Now I can see everything. Yeah, I took the baseball hat off. I gave it to my brother, Harvey, and I think he'll be much better. Okay, let's play ball! It's going to be a fun game. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. I'm, I'm here at Yankee Stadium. Well, I better go home now. Yeah. It's been fun outside playing, and I hid from my Uncle Calvin. He's a police officer, so I stayed outside, and I've been playing. I'm getting hungry right now. I had a lot of fun just playing outside. Oh, I was running like this. Look. Well, yeah, that's what I was doing, and I played baseball like this. I love baseball. Yeah. Hey, you know what? And my good friend Clark, we like baseball too. Yeah. You like baseball? I do. I like the New York Yankees. Oh, Clark is coming up here. What's wrong? Really? They went to 
in a baseball game! Hey! Nobody took me! I better go to the church to see what Pastor Mike is doing! I hope we have fun! Okay, everybody. Turn with me and your Bibles to Acts chapter 2. Okay, you got it? All right, that's great. I'll start to uh, talk about the Bible verse. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly a noise like a violent rushing wind came from heaven. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And tongues that looked like fire appeared to them, distributing themselves. And a tongue rested on each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with different tongues or languages as the Spirit gave them ability to speak out. When, now when, well, actually at that time, now there were Jews residing in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the crowd came together and they were bewildered because each one of them was hearing them speak in his own language. So what happened on the day of Pentecost, uh, God's gift of the Holy Spirit came down and fell on the heads of the people who were staying in the upper room where Jesus told them to stay. And they stayed there and they received a gift from God. God's promise came through. That's right. And Pentecost reminds us that God keeps his word and that the words of Jesus are true. So, that's what happened on the day of Pentecost. Uh, and we celebrate that day 40 days after Easter. So that's why we're celebrating Pentecost today. Oh, wow! Now, because I was impatient, and I didn't wait. I missed the gift. And the gift was going to the Yankees baseball game. But I'll make sure about the Holy Spirit and everything like that. They didn't miss that gift because they waited just like they were told. Oh, wow. Boy, what a lesson. I learned today. Yeah, I learned a big lesson today. Wasn't a great lesson, but, well, maybe I'll go to a baseball game some other day. Oh, wow! What a way to learn a lesson. Boy, it's not fun. Boy, I learned a big lesson from all of that. I learned to wait and be patient. It's a big lesson I learned today. I'm glad I did. I'm here at the baseball game. Yeah, go ahead, yo! Boy, I'm having fun. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I got caught up in the excitement of the baseball game, but I learned eh, that you need to wait. So, when God tells us to wait, He means to be still. Stay where you are. And that's what it means. I learned a big lesson. I guess my cousin Adela Ray learned a lesson too. Hey, play ball. Have a great week. See you guys later.